known for its cleanliness, Kennebec River ice, known as white gold, kept meat and other perishables cool in ice boxes around the world. At the turn of the 20th century, the volume of ice shipped out of this main river was second only to the Hudson River in New York. In neighborhoods like Portland's Munjoy Hill, Tree Street's neighborhood in Bangor, or the Lewiston Androscoggin Mill Block, the ice man on his horse-drawn wagon could be seen selling blocks of ice to apartment dwellers. Many days, children could be seen following the ice wagon, waiting for little pieces of ice to fall off for a cool summer treat. Signs placed in door windows indicated how many pounds of ice was needed. A 25, 50, 75, or 100 pound block of ice that sold for a penny a pound might last three or four days. This depends upon the number of times a food container called an ice box was open. The less, the better. The ice was placed in an ice box like this one to keep food and drinks cold. Because cold air descends or sinks and hot air rises, the ice was placed into the top compartment with the food down below. A typical wooden ice box was made of oak or maple, its hollow walls lined with zinc or tin, and packed with layers of sawdust, straw, or seaweed to act as insulation. Notice the tube attached to the back wall. This allowed melted ice water to flow into a pan located under the ice box. People throwing water from the pan out their back door was a common sight. Taken from the mighty Kennebec during the winter and making its way to your kitchen's ice box throughout the following summer, ice from Maine was sure to keep food fresh all season long.